Kutanad is known as the Granary of Kerala. Surrounded by paddy fields, backwaters and rivers, Kutanad is very beautiful in its scenic view. Most of the people in Kutanad are farmers, and the life of the people there during the turn of the 19th century was in misery due to poverty, contagious diseases and floods. It was during that time that St. Kuriakos Elias Chavra was born in Kainikari village on 10th February 1805. The Chavra family of Kuriakos and Mariam was showered with God's blessing and Kuriakos was a third child. Even in the midst of all difficulty, the children grew up in the shadow of their loving parents with real faith in God and a love for others. Eight days after his birth, Kuriakos was baptized in the Paris church of Chenangari on the 18th of February, 1805. Kuriakos' mother, Mariam, was a great devotee of the Holy Mother of Vetchur. Hence, she offered Kuriakos as a Marian servant under Vetchur mother for protection at the very young age itself. During those days, the method of teaching children at the home of the teacher or the Ashan was very common. Children used to start their formal education from these teachers at their homes. Kuriakos also started his formal education in Ashan Kalari at the age of five by writing on sand with his finger. Jesus was the best friend of little Kuriakos. It was his mother who taught him the preliminary lessons in prayer. One day, Malpan Thomas Palakal of Palipuram Seminary instinctively came to the Chabra family. The polite manners of little Kuryakos drew the attention of Malpan. Malpan asked little Kuryakos whether he would like to be a priest, and little Kuryakos replied, Definitely, father. His parents were sad to send him to the seminary, but they obliged the wish of their son. Kuryakos started living with the vicar of Chenangari Church, and started to learn the Holy Bible and the basics of the Syriac language. For a year, he stayed in the church, and then, as he realized that it was God's will for him to become a priest, at the age of 11 years, he bid farewell to his family and continued his studies at Palipuram Seminary. Under the pious, learned, and wise teacher Malpan Thomas, Kuriko started to memorize the teachings of the church and the reflections of the saints. While in the seminary, the painful news of the death of his beloved mother, father, and brother reached Kuriakos. This made him very sad. After returning to the seminary, Kuriakos was fully engaged in studies and preparations for priesthood. On the 29th of November, 1829, Deacon Kuriakos received priesthood from Bishop Marilius Stabalni in Artungal Church. The solemn first mass was celebrated in his home parish, Chenangari Church. After becoming a priest, Father Chabra served in different churches. His spiritual leadership and animation were appreciated by the people. His sermons touched the hearts of all who heard them. Father Chavra's spiritual guide, Malpan Thomas Palakal, was a special devotee of the Blessed Mother. He desired to make a Darshana Veda, or House of Vision, for meditation and devout life in the Blessed Mother's name. In Chambakulam Parish, there was another priest called Thomas Porukara. He also wanted to live a devout life in meditation. The three joined together to realize the dream of a religious community which would live in deep spirituality. To make their dream a reality, Malpan Palakal, Malpan Purukara and Father Chavra Kuriakus Elias met the bishop and asked permission. The bishop was sympathetic to their desire 
but he wanted them to remain with the people, so that they could teach the people and guide them in their spiritual growth. The bishop granted them permission to start a monastery, which would be helpful both for the fathers and the people. As per the instructions of the bishop, they approached different parish communities for financial assistance to construct the monastery. The people wholeheartedly supported them with their contributions in kind and in cash. After a long search for a suitable location, they found the Mananam Hillock as best suited for their purpose. A gentleman called Kurian Tayil offered his land to build the monastery. The fathers also found it suitable and decided to establish the monastery there. The bishop offered them 200 rupees as the first contribution. They invited Bishop Marilius to lay the foundation stone of the monastery on 11th May 1831. Though the bishop had reached Mananam, due to sudden physical illness, he was not able to grace the occasion. But he insisted that they not postpone the ceremony. Hence, Malpan Thomas Parukara laid the foundation stone and the construction work was started. On the Feast of Pentecost in 1831, the chapel was blessed and Holy Mass was offered. The work progressed very fast with Father Chavra Kuryakos's enthusiasm and this became a strong motivation for the laborers. Along with the construction of the monastery, a seminary was also built in 1833. This was the first common seminary for the Siro Malabar seminarians. During the construction of the monastery, many unusual things happened which showed the divine power of Father Chavra. With the hard work of several years, Father Chavra's life goal of building the monastery was accomplished. It was dedicated to Saint Joseph. Father Chavra was grateful for having accomplished God's will. On the 16th of January, 1841, Father Thomas Palakal took his last breath, and this led to great pain for Father Chavra. As Father Chavra Kuryakos knew the importance of printing, he desired to establish a printing press. After seeing the government press in Tiruvannandapuram, he decided to make a press of the same model. With the help of an artisan, he made a wooden press and started printing prayer books and other literature in it. It was the first Catholic press in Kerala and the third one in Travancore. Before starting the printing, some ink had to be bought. Father Chavra had no money for that. He just went to the church and prayed. While returning from the church, he saw a man at the door of the church who said, here is a humble offering of 500 chakras for the church and your work. In case of any need in future, I am ready to help you. Father Chavra always trusted in the providence of God. Whenever he had any difficulty, he simply placed all his petitions before the good Lord whom he addressed, My Father. He always found the helping hand of God through the generosity of many good people. It was another dream of Father Chavra to establish a school for all children, irrespective of caste or creed. In 1846, he started a Sanskrit school at Mananam. Later, when he was the Vicar General of Verapura, he ordered every church to establish a school. This revolutionary reform of Father Chavra played a significant role in the educational development of Kerala. Father Chavra guided the religious community which was established at Malanam. The community, which is known today as the Carmelites of Mary Immaculate, was officially approved by the church in 1855. During the lifetime of Chavra himself, seven monasteries were established. The members of these monasteries were engaged in pastoral ministry, evangelization, education, social work, and many other things. Father Chavra liked to be with the people, inquiring about their well-being and trying to solve their problems. People had great faith in his leadership and his decisions were accepted by them as the last word. Indeed, Father Chavra was a man for other people. Father Chavra prepared manuscripts of canonical prayer for priests and for the divine services. He preached effective retreats for lay people for their spiritual enlightenment. 
He established homes for the poor and the destitute, which he named Upavishala, or Charity Home. Father Chavra was the founder of the first women's religious community in Kerala. In collaboration with the missionary, Father Leopold OCD, he established a convent for the nuns at Kunamavu on 13th February 1866. Father Chavra was a great devotee of the Blessed Sacrament. He spent long hours before the Eucharist Lord in spite of his hectic schedule during the day. His contemporaries saw him in great ecstasy before the Holy Eucharist. People testified of him as a living saint. A poet and a philosopher, Father Chavra wrote poetry and several literary compositions during his lifetime. Poetry, named Soul's Repentance, and a history of the Church of Christ from birth to death were part of his works. The hymn that is sung at funerals, called The Laments, is also one of his compositions. As old age crept in, Chavra got rheumatic fever and started losing his eyesight. Though he was bedridden, he continued his prayer, study and work. In November 1870, Bishop Milano and other missionaries who had returned from Rome after the First Vatican Council visited Father Chavra. It was a heart-touching moment for everyone. As his health condition deteriorated, Father Chavra Kuryakos told his confreres that his time to go to the Heavenly Father had come. On the 3rd of January, 1871, he breathed his last, entrusting his soul in the hands of his Heavenly Father. On hearing the news of his death, thousands of people came to pay homage to him. During the funeral oration, Father Matai Kapil said, Today, the flag of Malayalam has come down. The mortal remains of Father Chavra were buried in St. Philomena's Church, Unamava, on 4th January 1871. Later, on the 24th of May 1889, the mortal remains were transferred to St. Joseph Monastery, Mananam, which is the mother house of CMIs, and reinterred in the monastery chapel. But that divine ray still shines on us. St. Alphonse's ailments got healed completely in 1936 after praying to Father Chavra Kuryakos. Several other miracles were also attributed to the intercession of St. Chavra. Even after his death, his blessings continued to pour out on all those who intercede to him. In 1958, the process for the canonization of Chavra was officially started. On February 8, 1986, Kuryakos Elias Chavra was declared blessed by Pope John Paul II at Cotium, along with the blessed Alfonso. On the 23rd of November 2014, Pope Francis canonized Kuryakos Elias Chavra at the Vatican, along with Saint Euphrasia, who was a member of the CMC congregation founded by Saint Chavra. Let us be inspired by the great ways of St. Chavra and try to follow his good example in words and in deeds. For it was he who said, Children, you are God's investment in the hands of your parents.